Hey students, welcome to yet another wonderful session. So today I've come up with a very interesting Olympiad question and it's a previous year Olympiad question. Let's see if you can solve this. Find n for which 2 to the power 8 plus 2 to the power 11 plus 2 to the power n is a perfect square. Now question is already specifying that this is a perfect square. We have to look for that value of n that makes it a perfect square. Okay. So first, obviously, we will have to simplify this expression. So let's see that here we have got 2 to the power 8. Let's try taking common from both of them. If I take 2 to the power 8, it's going to be 1 here plus 2 to the power 8 is already common. Or let me just simplify this for you a bit more. I can write this as 2 to the power 8 and this could be written as 2 to the power 8 times 2 to the power 3. When bases are same, powers get added up, still we get 2 to the power 11 plus 2 to the power n. Now from here, if I take common, I'll get 2 to the power 8 bracket. Here we have 1 and here it's going to be 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power n. So here this is 2 to the power 8, 1 plus 8, 2 to the power, I'm sorry, 2 to the power 3 is 8 basically, plus 2 to the power n. So this is 2 to the power 8 into 9 plus 2 to the power n. Now, again, if I try to take common from this, and this because there is a multiplication symbol so they are together you cannot split them so here I can take common I have 2 to the power 8 inside the bracket we will have 9 plus here it's 2 to the power n and outside the bracket it's 2 to the power 8 you might be thinking how we can take common from here in such cases what you can do is simply write the base as it is okay you need n here right I can write n minus 8 why am I doing this because if I multiply this and this again together the bases get added up right and you are still left with 2 to the power n so in mathematics we simplify in such a way so that if you try to go back to the previous step you should be able to get that thing and if you are not able to get the same thing that means there is some error all right so that's how we can do it now this is anyways, it's a 2 to the power 8. It is a perfect square, right? Why is it a perfect square? Let's put a root here. Square root means what? It has power 1 by 2. We can cancel it out, correct? We are getting 16, 2 to the power 4, which is a perfect square anyways. What about this? Question is saying it is a perfect square. We don't have to check it here. That means it has to be a perfect square. So if this is a perfect square, that means... 9 over here. We know that 9 is a perfect square. Now we're only left with this term 2 to the power n minus 8. This has to be a perfect square. So we know one thing. This is 9, right? So 9, think about the perfect squares. We start from, we start from 1, 4 and then we have 9 and then comes 16 and then comes what? Then comes 25, right? Think about this. Now if you think about it, after 9, we are adding something. The next perfect square is 16 and then it's 25. If I try to make it 7, right? If I try to make this 7 over here, will that be possible? I can't do that, right? So next is going to be 25. So think about this. We know about the Pythagorean triplets. Pythagorean triplets are 3, 4 and 5. Correct? These are Pythagorean triplets. So using this, I can say one thing. This is 9 plus 16 gives us 25, right? 9 is already there. If I get 16, I'll get 25, which is a perfect square. That's why we are neglecting 16 from here. Total is going to be 25. So that means this should be equals to 16 in that case. So 2 to the power n minus 8 should be equal to 16. And 16 could be written as 2 to the power 4. And we know that when bases are same, we can equate the powers. So in that case, n minus 8 would be equals to 4. I can say that n would be equals to 8 plus 4. So n would be equals to 12. The value of n should be 12 over here so that this entire expression becomes a perfect square. So here in this question, if you see, we applied exponents and powers, their concepts, right? And then after that, when we take common, here I know that most of the students get confused. And this is a very important step. A lot many times you come across such kind of things when you're solving equations. And here comes the most important thing, why we cannot take 16. Because if I add something to 9, which is going to be 7 to make it 16, it is not forming a Pythagorean triplet, right? Here, these are forming the Pythagorean triplet. So it was simpler that we could make it 16 and we equated that and we got the value of n that's going to be 12 over here. Tricky one but interesting one, right? Now you can also try out questions like this and comment below in the comment section.